Hello and welcome back to more adventure with Darkfur and Skullgore. Ooh. Oh, do good looking. Good looking there. Right, um, if I remember correctly, I think we had some new armors or something. Let's have a look. Half hide braces is 13. Half hide braces and medium armor level 2. Wait a minute. So that means increases armor skill and. Yeah. Alright, yeah. It's alright. Cool, we've got some stuff going on. Five lock picks now. Um. Right, so where are we off to now? Talk to Zaban Ma, is that what we've got here? Shell Dominion was sh right, okay, with that one. Family business, yeah, I think we'll continue with the family business. And we'll go and talk to Zaban Ma. Keep forgetting to shift to sprint. Looks like there's a quest over there. Let's go and have a look, shall we? So a ship over there? It's quite smart. Um shape. Hmm. Hmm 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 hmm. Also now The soul shriven shriek can writhe in the cold harbour. The harvester of soul digests them, makes them mutter and despair. They whisper their secrets to the dead winds of oblivion, and those with ears attuned will know them and use them. Gather the implements. Ask the needle, nightshade for salts, and crush bone of sacrifice into the tooth of a day daydroth. Describe the circle, the names and the symbols, shower sewer of strife and no Lord of Brutality, corner corner, corner of the House of Troubles. Create the tool, purify the needle over the fire of nightshade, cool it in frost salts, place upon it an enchantment of sharpness and one of weak shock. And prepare the body at last. Create a drought of bone and wait, what the what? Hold it in the mouth and scrub the names and symbols and the flesh of the palms. Open the gate, place the needle in the left ear's entrance, insert a sword. Hmm. Um, can I not take it? There we go. Harder than expected. Let's see if it was worth it. Interesting. Looks like it's a family band thing over there. Hail. That's invincible sheep. I draw sheep invent your bitch, I'm fucking have you. Ooh, what's that? Oh, bastard. Hello, I'm back. I'm back, people. Ooh. Ah. Time to collect raw jute. Uh huh. I see. Yeah. 
ha ha ha. I'm a magician of stealth and awesomeness. You there. Come here. Um. I asked around. Nobody from the shipwreck remembers seeing you before Eagle Strand. No more lies. You're running Skooma, aren't you? I asked around. Nobody from that farmer shook himself to death. Right. Think I don't recognize a Skooma overdose when I see one. All right. I don't know why skeevers are frothing at the mouth. I should arrest a lot of you. Hmm. Last chance. If <laughs> someone doesn't tell me where the skooma is, you'll all face the consequences. Yes, well, it's my job to ask questions. Perhaps moon sugar fumes can cause the skooma shakes. Maybe I see skooma where it isn't sometimes. I'll leave them to their grief. Fucking damn right, you fucking moody bitch. You fucking moody bitch. Once they're settled, back to Mistral. Piece of shit, woman. <coughs> oh, why are they out of the moved? Oh, they've buried the father now. Oh. Thank you. Sir Endar himself would commend your actions. Give me this skooma so I can destroy it. I want um, to finish. Give it to you. Gone. Father is gone. Why would Saban Ma destroy his? Thank you, thank you. I'll destroy Ooh. this immediately. My sister is all I have left. We will learn to forgive each other. We have to if we are going to rebuild. This poison causes nothing but pain. And we have now a shooter, which is. I have level 1 versus level 2, and this is Twitter Charm, that's is nice. Too keen to look of it myself, like. But it's good armour, and that's what we care about at the minute, compared to what we were dealing with. Um. Tribute points. Teleport strike, players move to the shadows appearing next to the target of the Hmm. How great ones have already got? Stands stuns enemy for twelve seconds, effect is broken by damage of any source. After effect ends, enemy takes effect magic damage of five seconds. Shadow does the magic damage if stealth attacks sets of enemy attack sets enemy off balance and stuns them for four seconds. This racial ones. I need your help now. Fuck off, Jimmy. But ah, bastard. The Journal of Bremen. Whatever that is. So off on our next mission. What's a little line mean? That means some sort of like point of interest or something. I don't know. Might mean something. Let's go and have a look up here. That's that temple, isn't it? Different Templars are just the same one. Oh. Um. Oh, 
let me in, let me in. Crescent Moon's acolyte, huh? The temple of the morning springs has been set to right. The moonlight shines upon you. But at a cost, hmm. this one saw. And this one would not envy you that choice, though she cannot fault your rationale. You have prevented a great evil from gaining freedom and plaguing the roost once again. Thank you. Right. Greetings. Yeah, fucking General Akbar. Huh. The cat world, look at it. It's a trap! <laughs> yeah, Temple of Moons discovered all the other Temple of Moons and all that shit. Do not disturb the ritual, cat. Shut your fucking trollop, woman. of the twin moons shine sweet upon us. What's she doing? This one gives thanks. As the sky falls white on elsewhere, when the frost forms on the lake, when the fires blaze and brightness, when the old bones begin to ache, then casts cast then cats cast off their booties, and fur keeps out the cold, and small moon chases big moon and tells him secrets old. But then the blue skies are elsewhere, when rivers stream with light, when fires die in ashes, when youth again takes flight. Then cats re wrap their booties, and comb out rich thick manes, and big moon chases small moon and frees her from her chains. Right. Hmm. Corn mash. Right. Give us the silver light that we can catch it in crystal. She's on the end shit. Oh. And sprint to our next achievement. Heck Journal of Bravan. Um <gasps> shit. Ooh, nasty. We survived, so alas it's alright. Alas, it's alright. It's alright it is. It's alright it is, it is alright. Fast little pussy cat. Look at the bridges over there. Oh, 
So over here, should we go and have a look? Let's go explore. Fuck missions. Elder Scrolls style. Let's explore. Yeah. Anybody in? Abandoned house? Hmm. An abandoned house. Well, you know, I don't want to waste the bookshelf now, do we? Look upon the face of Boethia uh, and wonder. Look upon the face of Boethia and wonder. Ha oh, ha. Raise your arms that Boethia may look on them and bestow a blessing. You know, the battle is such a blessing. Death is inevitable, and that you would do a dust in the eyes of Boethia. Long in the arm of and swift is the blade, deep is the quit and subtle is the poison. Worship or fearful prayer, death is short. Worship or fearful prayer, death is quiet. Worship or fearful prayer, worship the glory that is Boethia. Into bottles strides the Daedric Prince, laid at the ready to cleave the unworthy. Ah. Oh, so this is where we can have our um, go inventories where we have to use our recipes. I don't know. Usually, learn how to make roast pig. Ah, so have to use these. The recipes. Now have a look at here. Can we do anything? Right, ingredients: pork and So we can make a roast pig. Or we can make a trotter pie. Should we make a trotter pie? Right, let's make a trotter pie. Oh, provisioning went up to two. And this is how we're crafting. It's my first go at crafting. Um, let's make another trotter pie. Nice. Let's make some grilled pig. Oh, we're at it. And another one. Right, there we go. <laughs> oh, that's cute. Right, ah, well, as we first go at um, cooking, I'm quite happy with that. Trotter pie recipe, I've already got fucking more than. Hey, there's a lockpick. Nice, nice, nice. Aged meat. Nightstand empty. I think the graphics are beautiful for this, for an MMO like on here. I think it's absolutely brilliant. Definitely worth it. Well, I'll first go crafting as well. Mwahaha. Oh, I haven't got a fishing rod. Let's have a quick look, real quick. Hold on. So, how's to sheath weapon combat? Sheath and sheath Z. Just so I know, because I like having my weapon sheathed and I'm walking about. Hello there. Hello, 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 hello. Mistral discovered. Let's go this way. It's a nice, lovely looking place. Like one hand and shield increased to five. Hmm, nice. So where are we at here? That's a fast travel network. Then, so where can we fast travel to? Travel to there, I'm guessing. Mm, I don't know to do. if I could use that sack of. Ah, we can use the sack. And so, two pork lids, so we should be able to cook some more stuff in a bit when we get um, a bit further down. So many people about. Hello there. Old Mary Grandeur. Okay, crazy woman. What is it? It was that other one. What is it? And the main spoke. Look to Riddlethar. Did he surrender Jaka Jay to Skuma Cat and the others? No. He kept it close for all of us, under his belly for all to follow. It is true, you know. In Jakaje we find ourselves, our place in the world, our path through its trials. In following this path, 
we find the sugar hiding all around us, and we are happy, yes? So very happy. Be disgusted by its cold, oozing nose. In Daggerfall, packs of these horrible monsters... They may be drunk, but Razumdar is one sleek walker. My own father, Divine Savior, Good citizens of Kanarath's Roost, you've doubtless noted the presence of Thalmor representatives on your fair island. There's only the Dominion deputies have all the bright future. Rejoice for the majestical fleet pride of the Dominion Navy shall soon arrive at the fleet. Blah 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 blah. I've already read that, haven't we? Did you come in with the storm? I'm sure you worked up a thirst out there. Mmm, well. Selling some pieces of crap here. Dog. Do not worry. It is safely. I stock only the freshest herbs and finest spices. Everything this one sells is fresh, except for what's clearly marked. Can we use your, um... Yes, we can. Oh, we haven't got any, um... It's a fucking skill, that, isn't it? Should even sing in. I hate to admit it. But there is a certain charm to this place. If only it were cleaner. Mm, it's pretty clean, I would have thought. All citizens of Canada spruce the Dominion's gold fleet suffered extreme loss due to the recent hurricane. In this time of need, please do what you are able to aid the survivors, hosting the Dominion soldiers. If you are, are anyone not capable of hosting, guests consider opening your doors to the Dominion soldiers if in need of shelter to rescue. In recovery, if you encounter shipwreck survivors capable of moving on their own, direct them to the Temple of the Morning Springs. If trapped beneath wreckage or suffering from grievous wounds, alert a Dominion officer to assist. Three salvage prohibitions, stripping fallen Dominion soldiers of arm and weaponry will be considered a hostile act. Report exclusive Dominion officers of operations. Alright. The view is quite entrancing. If only smells didn't work. So it's dirty and it's smelly now. <sighs> I don't think you can please anybody at this rate. Oh no, it's nice and quiet in here. No, oh, fuck off with that one. Oh, hello. Hey. Oh, Briel, get onto your seats. We're in for a long one of you guys. <laughs> My reading skills. Right. <laughs> I believe she was killed by the cross tree bandits natural end to life of skooma use, as she put it. Nonsense, my wife was no skooma feed. Such apparitions cite her memory. Regardless of the Khajiit's assumptions, the cross the cross trees are to blame. The evidence is overwhelming. Broken files scattered over the shore where she was found, the marks cut into her face. All of the points the smugglers Tinamak aid me. I will see her avenged. Entry 272. Waited by the docks for the better part of a week. Saw one of those fiends make a sail. Tried to follow him, but he saw me. Made a noise. Two short whistles, one long. Must remember. Two of his friends jumped me from the rooftops. Beat me bloody. Tossed me off the dock. I walk as the tide washed my blood from my wounds. She still... Still feel the sting if I am to pursue these vermin, and vermin they are. I must learn to defend myself. Thuthak is a sturdy fellow and a fine friend. Years of dealing with the surly drunks and ruffians have taught him many things, and he carries himself with a warrior's grace. Tomorrow I will ask him to teach me what he knows. Entry 273. Huthrak could not stop laughing. He said I was like a kitten meowing with sweet, mewling with for sweet cakes. I explained myself and asked if he could teach me his manner change. He said, go to the Temple of the Two Moons, dance. Ask for dog bite me. 
Mm, okay. Tell her what you told me. I leave tomorrow. I told Olwanenya. <laughs> I'll be fishing the tidal pools near Windcatcher Plantation. I think she believed me. Entry 274. Dog by me. Story is not unlike my own. She lost her brother to the cross trees and became and came to Windcatcher Plantation. She wanted to learn how to fight, but she says the monks are trained to think every martial lesson is a puzzle. Until students demonstrate their understanding, they cannot advance. Riddle that grave her guidance and tempered her need for revenge with a desire for justice. When she did act, it was calculated and precise. The cross trees never realised it was anything but an accident. My training proceeds well, though I made dif difficult. Ugh. I have some difficulty with riddle fire. It seems only the seems one must view oneself as a tiny part in a greater scheme. I guess what I was supposed to say. Schema. Oh, no. An awful way to think, entirely different from the ways of old Aldemir, Aldemiris, or whatever. Though. So, I admit it is more, far more flexible, especially in regards to moral qualms. I will meditate upon this. Entry 276. A calm settles about my thoughts. A calm settles about my thoughts. Sleep comes easy, where before it was elusive. Sierra's thread crosses mine in dreams, where we watch our daughter spread wings and fly across the framework, suspending us all. Across the void, the cross trees thread glimmers like a dagger in the night. How easy it would be to sever, sever their cord, to send them tumbling into the darkness beyond. But impression is the greatest enemy. Imprecision? I don't know. So I wait, I watch, and I learn. Entry 277. Dog might me says the cross trees are vulnerable. Direct confrontation is out of the question. Better to to sever those threads and stray them from rest, fraying the cord until it snaps. This one is ready. Whoa. Well, that's good. Note some racial philosophy. Yeah, hey, here we go again. Yeah, just skip past this if you don't I like reading the man. By the Council of Healers, Imperial University, after much analysis of living specimens, the Council long ago determined that all the races of elves, humans, may mate with each other and the bear fertile offspring. Generally, the offspring bear the racial traits of the mother, though some traces of the father's race may also be present. It is clear whether the Argonians of Kashit are infertile with both humans and elves, though there have been many reports throughout the years of children from these unions as well as stories of unions with danger. There have been no well documented offspring she differ from humans and elves, not, their not only their skeletal and dermal physiology, the fur that covers their bodies, but their metabolism and digestion as well. Magonians like the Drew, the Dre, the Dreg, the Dre, <laughs> appear to be a semi-aquatic troglophile from the humans, though it may though it is by no means clear whether the Argonians should be classified with the Dreg. Men, mer, or in this author's opinion, certain tree dwelling lizards in the Black Marsh. I mean, the biology of the orcs is at present not well understood. The same is true of goblin trolls, harpies, drew, tsessai, whatever that is, imga, various daedra, and many others. Certainly, there have been cases of intercourse between these races, generally in the nature of rape or magical seduction or charm, and, but there have been no documented cases of pregnancy. Still, the infertility of these creatures and the civilized humanoids or hom hominids, has it to be empirically established or refuted. Likely due to the deep cultural differences, surely any normal Bosma or Breton impregnated by an orc would keep that shape to herself, and there's no reason to suppose that an orc made and impregnated by a human would not be likewise ostracised by their society. Regrettably, our authors as healers keep us from forcing and coupling to satisfy our scientific knowledge we do not, however, the slaughter of Thras and Hermaphrodites in their youth and later reabsorb their reproductive organs once they are old enough to move out well, move about on land. It can be safely assumed that they are not infertile with men or mer. One night one might further wonder whether the popular classification of the same races to use the imprecise but useful terms useful term should be made from the assumption of a common heritage and differences between the have arisen from magical experimentation. The manipulations of so-called earth bones are from the gradual change from one generation to the next. It's quite interesting. I agree, it's quite interesting. Polema welcomes you, honored guests, and thank hopes you. she can be of service to you. Well, thank you. What are you selling? Wow, that's much cheaper. Lock picks up what it's there. Um, it's probably my armor. Alright. Buy a 
by a few little things and that's what sorted them. Some more natural water. I do hope Hinamu comes to his senses. Since grandmother died, he isn't himself. He's never been a heavy sleeper. Lately he's taken to wandering Mistral at night. He's even changed the way he dresses. Goodbye. Oh, what recipe was that? Meat muscat increases magical. Hmm. Corn mash yet again. We will we do a little cost. What kind of inn is this? Is it like one fucking bedroom and no? from the beast. It is only my long exposure to it that allows me to tolerate the smell. Real dog. Do not worry. It is safely caged. So much to do. Dahara would not let it tear the flesh hey. from your bones. Hmm? Hey. What do you want? Slavering more, slavering more, bloody hell. This diplomatic mission is a farce. The Dominion should have taken Canarthi's roost by force and sorted the rest out later. What? So, you nasty people. These texture propins are gonna get my nerves, and not my computer. I have a good computer. Well, good enough for this, anyways. Chancery, I have no idea where I'm at now. Headwoman Harani. Two of our humans were damaged in the storm and had a great many rats upset upon our crops. While we have the rats in hand, we would inquire as to when we might expect help. Um, none of this at None of us at Wing Catch Plantation are skilled architects, which a few of us can make simple repairs, we can't fix everything. Right. Um How do I Let's look at that? Oh the lost art on our Wands of the green! Books, books everywhere! Wands of the green, the hunter waits in the boughs. Clad only in leaves and shadows, she breathes as the wind shifts and listens. Her quarry's fear grows thicker than the canopy. Her glance at her and it breaks cover. Her eyes open, footsteps muffled as owl's wings beat softly through the green. Any other would lose their quarry to the vine swept earth. Yet the hunter does not waver. Over and through the forest goes a silent chase. Briefly, the hunter alights upon a branch. A quick pull from her water skin, and she is off once more. A stream bubbles through the wood, and the quarry stops to drink. Claw leaves scabbard slick and shining bare. With the anticipation, she leaps. A Sirocco splashes. Claw meets neck. The quarry relents, and no, a moment more would see. Crimson intrude upon the stream's mirth. She licks her lips. Not this one. At the stream's edge, oh, the edge. Blah, 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 blah. At the stream's edge stands a simple mur. In the silhouette stands every woodsman, hunter, and guide. Every jacksper, every tree thane, and spinner. Every child and every elder stand with him. Yet he stands alone. Her hunter's gain meets his. She sees herself beside him too. She blushes and she does, and so does he. My Sylvanar, she says at last. My green lady, he responds in turn. She lowers her claw and turns to the quarry. In stalking these woods, in keeping them free of tethers, I lose myself to the green. She helps the quarry to its feet. But I will always bring her back, says the Sylvanar. You have nothing to fear from us, child of the forest. So long as there is the green, we walk where you walk. The Sylvanar vanishes among vines. The green lady leaps from her boths 
and she watches the Bosma trudge out of the stream and continue through the forest, but she smiles for the Bosma is no longer afraid. Hmm. I know this is probably boring for you all, but hey, I'm enjoying my beta playthrough, so I have to deal with that. No wine. Stringy meat. My beloved Sylvanar cooling these squabbling children instead of warming our bed. If there's a more tiresome place in all of Tamriel, I haven't found it. Hmm. Pipe. No. Um. While the understand the guards need to help Mistral recover from the storm, essentially, we chose to let to increase bandit activity along the village and monetize. Being associated by refunds and the bandit visits half is driven inland with the heavy winds, the half is scavengers mistaken of all ways, floats and washed upon the shore. Mercenaries to help deal with the dangers, but not all my kin are able to do so. Welcome the expert patrols to resume, patiently awaiting your response. Your pardon, friend. The Dominion's arrival on Carnarthy's roost has upset the locals. It falls on me to smooth the waters. Please, help yourself to food or drink. I'm happy to speak with you once this matter is settled. in danger generations of relative peace with the Malamur. Not for some far away Shut up. Grips. The Dominion's invasion of Kanathi's roost will not end. Yeah, where are the Dominion being all sort of like arson and invading people and shit? This one thinks you have come to make a ah. yes? Okay. Um. Deposit? Um. start using that. She have the banks as well, right? That's interesting. We should come back later on. I think we should go and head do some missioning and then we can maybe have some entertaining Can't video footage. Be so I think let's um My own father divine soul, was torn to pieces by just such a pack. Can you not be yeah. Keep alt um, sprint on my Skyrim game, so I keep pressing um, alt, which all it does is bring up the menu like that. So yeah, if that's why that's happening a lot. Just let us know. Huh? What's this here? I wonder what Ulandil intends for these Dominion. Ah, bloody hell, it's gonna be nerves now these controls. I have to change them all around when I actually get the game. Hey! Shoot it! Fucking. Make them noises at me. Screw buying lockpicks again, like, get loads of them, man. Mythical Beast Real Powers by Drissus. Ovicula, Proctor of the Imperial Library. 
a generation since the fall of Akavirai Patentetest? Mr. Potato Head, a new martial tradition has arisen in Tamriel, one which bears all the hallmarks of the coherent magical discipline through it is said to be though it is said to be, descended from the powers of the legendary dragons and those mortals who fought them. I refer, of course, to those so called dragon knights. Whether or not their abilities originate from the dragons, and you must give me leave to doubt it. For no dragons have been seen in time for thousands of years, if they ever existed at all. The powers which oh, I see, we know there was dragons in time. Yeah, we've played Skyrim, don't we? Dragon knights can deploy an undeniable. S there are several right here in the Imperial City. Members of the Tower Guard and there have demonstrated some of their effects as at my request. One of these dragon knights, a sergeant in the guard, showed me how he could wreathe himself in flame without being burnt, though I could feel the heat from several paces away. He then cast a loop of flaming chain around a target dummy and drew it to him, where it was quickly immolated. Finally, one of his subordinates burned another target dummy by literally breathing fire upon it. I was impressed and it was almost enough to make one believe in dragons. Well, I believe in dragons, and if you don't, sir, uh, you obviously Ambassador wrong. Ulondil isn't here, and if he was... He'd be far too busy to entertain the likes of you. I don't. I, I'm, I feel like coming over there and fucking slapping your fucking face in. You fucking idiot. Horrible, horrible, rude person. I hate rude people. We all hate rude people, don't we? Hello, you know me, Sneaky. I was trying to level this skill by sneaking, which you know makes sense, but I just do that. Oh, <laughs> another book! Oh, by the Mal. Oh, ah, it's increased. Oh, so they do that as well, like in um, Skyrim and all them. Wizina by appointment to his lordship, Chancellor Abnathar. What is the secret to easy cooking mastery? It can be summed up in one word recipes. When you have a recipe for a dish, especially if it comes from the Malachite chef, it takes all the guesswork out of preparing a meal. So beg, borrow, or steal, I jest, I jest. Some recipes require the, necess the necessary the necess ingredients and combine as directed over the hot cook fire. You'll be a must for visioner in no time because I'll let you in on a little professional secret. 19 out 20 times, even top ranked chefs do exactly the same thing. Oh well. Well, oh, we a special spice here or there to personalize us, but we know better than to ignore them entirely. A proven recipe represents the collective experience of generations of cooks, whether you're making something as simple as Cyrodiilic sweet roll, or as complicated as the screaming cheese fondue, and the kitchen recipe is your best friend. Well, I agree. I agree, yeah. Right. Ooh. Another heavy armor for <laughs> Heavy armor must be designed to take a lot of punishment. It will receive a direct blows from all sorts of weapons while protecting the wearer. Leather strips are used to make the straps. Huh? You know that. This actually help. It describes on how to improve your, well, how to craft a bit better. Iron steel are easy to work. Just heat them up and pound them into shape. The heat of the forge is not that critical. Avoid filling off any of the metal. Filing off any of the metal. Always try to conserve the metal and work it back into shape. Iron armor requires a large number of iron ignits. A smith need the smith might need a couple of a couple of dozen. Complete a full arm iron armor. A full set of iron armor. Steel armor primarily uses steel ignits, but some iron as well is used as well. Dwarven armor is made from the dwarf metal. That's secret of this metal was lost when the dwarves disappeared a millennia ago. No can only be found as scrap in the ruins of their banners. It is a fortress orc charm requires large amounts of orc or calcum melded with a bit of iron. Heat should be used sparingly lest it become brittle. The orcs are masters of this technique but it can be learned by any smith with patience and skill. Steel plate mail is made by adding steel to molten corundum. The alloy is stronger than either metal by itself. Corundum is finicky material, requiring the heat of the forge to be steady and not vary much. Ebony can only be worked when heated. It will develop small cracks and eventually shatter them still. If I'm if I'm at cold, unlike most other armors, ebony will not, ebony will not alloy with iron. It must be used pure. 
I can tell your tales of how to make daedric armor. I have never seen it myself, nor do I know anyone that has. The stories say that it should always be worked on at night, ideally under a new or full moon, and never during an eclipse. A red harvest moon is best ebony is the principal material, but at the right moment, Daedrum's heart must be thrown into the fire. Huh. So, definitely have to work on getting daedric armor, but obviously not for a long, 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 long time. Who leaves like age mate in backpacks though? Seriously, it's just like what? It was our last back to the mission, which we all started. What the fuck? Where are we? Oh shit. That's a new thing. I've never done that before. She doesn't like the old lockpick system. Okay. across the water without oh, getting eaten by slaughterfish. Mm. Can't go underwater in this or don't you like Fragonians in that? This one has <coughs> Huh? What the hell's going on? I oh, know we were fucking um, bastards. I won't fucking get killed again. I'll fucking get punched. Should we have a um, oh, bash with the Khajiit wandered into the camp last night, said he's looking for Hazak. If anyone asks where I am, I'm dragging this fool up to Hazak's hollow. He'll see any he'll see the boss before his head and body parts. Ways. We spotted Falmar on the beach as if you need me, send a runner up and around the hill, double back to the dock entrance and below. Crude map reveals direction of Hazak's hollow. Take the note. Right, so 
have a quick look here. Because our skills, a lot of them require us being. Um, oh, my inventory's full. Hold on. Being closer, I'm gonna change back. Now I've had a little go with that. Iron sword level three. Well, we're gonna use that. Cause that's skill eleven. Iron mace. I'm gonna use iron mace. Ah, that iron sword looks nice. Yes. Iron axe of poison. Fuck me. We are like can absolute everything. Oh, we need that. Um, fuck that shit. We can drop. Should've sold a lot of this. <laughs> Fucking sweet. Right, so where are we going on this map? Well, oh, for fuck off. Let's get out of there. We'll go out, continue on Laughing Wounds Plantation, just go a bit of old ARL. Let's go have a look. Maybe that tiger. Ooh, that's nice and gorgeous. Yeah, this probably isn't the best to watch, but it is a really good game, and you probably see. I mean, it's a lot funner to play than it is to watch, I imagine. But yeah, it's an absolutely amazing game. Right to yo. So we need to be basically, let's have a look at our map. Our journal, let's have, let's have a look at our journal. In level 2, mission level 2, level 2, zone level 2. Right, so let's go and do that Khajiit, I think. So that's a destination point, and let's adventure off over to save the Khajiit. From them horrible, horrible people. Absolute horrid people that's took him and stolen him from us. Oh, 
Oh look a boog, I do love my boogs, sugar belly. Oh you're in for a treat, this one's a long one. A Walker's Guide to Happy Cinch Tigers by uh, Asmura. The mind of a cinch tiger is like its tail weaving impossible shapes before pouncing its prey if you are the prey too bad for you. But grab hold of the tail and the what? And the, uh, the cinch tiger does exactly as you want so long as your grip remains firm. In theory, one could leave the cinch tiger bound by its tail forever, but Asmura does not recommend it since she's quite fast, very strong, and entirely capable of holding a grudge. Much better to seize the mind, but how to do this? First understand that, like Khajiit, cinch tigers have a powerful sweet tooth, they also have fine noses and will track moon sugar down whatever it hides, in pockets, through walls, and the bellies and close friends, anywhere. <laughs> the bellies of close friends, lol. Fortunately, the cinch tiger's appetite for sugar is only so great, by keeping your cinch tiger on a steady diet, you can manage it more aggressive desires and more useful pursuits, like rat catching. You need only know how much moon sugar is enough moon sugar. There is where it gets tricky, the cinch sweet tooth waxes and wanes, with the moon starting with the phase under which it is, which it was born, and the ending with the lunar opposites. Size is a factor, also a larger cinch requires more moon sugar. Some trainers can determine the cinch tiger's appetite for moon sugar by consulting the local two moons, but as moon I does not recommend this. A priestess is not always on hand and keeping both the temple and your cinch supply of moon sugar is an expensive proposition. Also cinch tigers proving swiftly use unless fully grown their appetites will change many would be trainers have little time to regret a low stock of moon sugar resulting carnage is never pretty. But to keep a stockpile of moon sugar on hand the cinch eats until silated and this is what can be left by it. Um, and what is left can be used to ice the sweet roll spice the pudding or make it delectable moon candy. One full of moon sugar, a cinch tiger wants only two things, meat to fill its belly and a sunny place to bask. This makes them suited to be guarding fields and hunting game. But this is all about what they can do without years of training, even then training can only go so far. For example, motivating cinch to pull farming equipment is not recommended, your cinch tiger should be Staying to endure the harnesses, it will still be inclined to chase anything large in a field mouse and its spots across the field, save ourselves the trouble of collecting scattered plows. While the other trainers have had some success with Watch Sench and Battle Sench, Asmura would strongly discourage training them to eat people unless you are strong and a good fight and good at fighting, even then this one would not recommend it. So I'll see is only so far as its belly, yes. Hopefully this guide helped you avoid being eaten by the favourite Sench Tigers. If not well, Azura made no promises. Huh. Hey, little no tigers! Poison! Oh. You know, you know that means battle. I'll just take all your... your food. I'll take all your meat here. Oh well. It's good to know though, that we've surrounded my... Um, there's a mission over there, apparently. Let's see if I've shut the Well, let's go investigate them, see Viper Shell while we're over there. Right, let's go, 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 go. I just sort of like teleport or something. What the fuck happened there? Can any of you hear me? Where are you there? Have yes. you seen my squad? Um, what did I look like? We were all in a little Alkash, part of the Dominion fleet sailing for Kanathi's roost. Then a hurricane blew up out of nowhere. Sails tore, hulls cracked, and we were thrown into the ocean. I thought I heard one of them calling out, but the ocean twists up sounds. If they're wounded or pinned down, could you keep an eye out for my soldiers? They answer to Edelus, Anglon, and Nistel. Two of us can cover more ground. I'm sure my squad made it to shore alive. Dominion Marines constantly defy the sea's attempts to drown us. For hurricanes, they're another matter. I fear my squad is banged up worse than I am. Our ship's hold was packed full of an old Bosma healing remedy. The labels say Torchbug Treacle, but Marines call it Blow Juice. The wreck scattered bottles across the beach must be what brought out the eyelids. Squat creatures made of teeth, claws, and endless hunger. 
I've heard their cries up and down the beach since I came too. Their sweet tooth is bigger than their walnut brains. I saw one of the stupid things swallow a whole bottle of blow juice. <laughs> Good luck. Do me a favor. If you find them before I do. Um, shattered shoals recovered. You haven't really looked far, have you, Missy? Because that was one of them right here. Who are you? Were you alive? Good. That's good. Wave smashed me against the ship. Cracked a few ribs. Not the best feeling. Tastes like sandals boiled in mint perfume. But if it knits my ribs, I'll drink the whole bottle. Good. I'll find Sergeant Furio. Lost a lot of friends in that storm. Give me some good news. I saw her swept overboard in that damn storm. Held on to the rigging long as I could, but it tore the skin off my palms. If I can't hold a weapon, I'm useless to my squad. Blow juice? I used to think this stuff was only good for practical jokes on snowy days. Once I can heft Spleen Shanker, I'll push through the beach and find Sergeant Ferian. Why can't you use your fucking legs, you stupid idiot? Hope they appreciate their good fortune when you find them. I can get inland after I rest. Fight with purpose. Good boy. Uh. It's done that freezy thing again, so I have to restart the game, so we'll end this episode here. Right, okay, thank you for watching. This was Skelgore. Ciao for now, bye.